It's a tough call, but I think that it's best Tell everyone in town that we're calling in their debts We got three weeks to pack up the nest Father sent a letter and we're headed out west Yeah, there's a train with our name and it's headed out west Pack up the animals, close up the store Tell all your friends we don't live there anymore Life's been good to us here so far But we're headed out west for a brand new start Train cars shake our voices as we wonder What will life be like? Well I hear tell of a river so deep Fish in the water and apples in the trees Trees so tall and mountains high We can make a life there, you and I We can make a life there, you and I Very first day met the kids in town Chasing after us as we drove down Laughing and running with the one horse cart Pretty soon we knew all their names by heart Pretty soon we knew all their names by heart First year here we found a one-room cabin Built by old Thornhill Well he was a man with his name on a mountain Moved out here for his one true love We drew water from a clear spring fountain Down in the valley with the stars above I can see father by the banks of the river Some dark memory on his face He says the water is a giver and a taker Life in the balance of the good Lord's grace mm -hmm. And we lay down our like the trees of the orchard And we watched each other roam Like the garden in our yard We cleared a little land To build a pretty house there And we filled it full of all our memories I can hear the laughter when I look back Run away chickens in the night pitch black Peeking through the cracks of the boarded up windows Powder man blowing all the stuff sky high You and me sneaking up the back of the lead to Staying out late on those summer nights Yeah, we'd go dancing when the moon was bright Flowers on the windowsill Life's been good to us here so far Since we headed out west for a brand new start that he'd at last found a place where he'd like to spend the last days of his life. And he said, uh, I really like it and I want you to uh, pack your things and come out and join me. We had a store in uh, Albany and uh, Mother had quite a bit of credit out. And then uh, 
So she decided we'd pack everything up from the store, which she did, and uh, we were on our way within three days to come out here. We came by, by train. Yes, we brought all the goods from the shelves of the uh, grocery store, which came in handy after we got here. And we brought a cow and a calf and some chickens. When we got here, we went in a two-wheel cart, horse-drawn cart, Mr. Young's. A couple of us girls took a ride on the back of it, and uh, the Defontaine children were running behind, you know, and they were laughing all the time. Oh, then we moved to Thornhill. It was a small log house. It only had one room. <laughs> it was Mr. Thornhill's home. The, the uh, mountain was named after him. We had an orchard there, a place for a garden. We had to go down a hill to a spring to get our water. They had gone fishing, apparently, and their boat sank, and they lost their lives. And he was always, uh, he always wanted to come back and uh, find out what really happened. <laughs> it just had to, it just made me think of the time that we, Mother was buying some chickens from Mr. Brown. And, uh, you know, at that time, there, there were no street lights. And on a cloudy night, you know, when it was really cloudy, it was just as dark as the ace of spades. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face. We had a path we'd go through Davis's mill and that way. And even in the dark, we knew the way home. But this night, we were carrying chickens. And in a bag, each of us had a bag with three chickens. And in the dark, somebody stumbled, and the chickens got out, and we were flopping around in the dark over stumps and logs trying to find these chickens. Our neighbor, Mr. Swan, was a powder man, and they boarded up all the windows, and he came and blew all the stumps around the house, you know. And then later on, Mother had the uh, back what we call the back bedroom, a lean-to added on that came in handy for a great number of things. So it had a, a window through which, when we wanted to go out and not be seen going out, <laughs> it came in very handy. <laughs>